Hey everyone, this is Mike Johnson, and I want to talk to you really quickly about uh, the WP Social SEO Booster and why you need to have this plugin on every blog you own. Well, the first thing we need to look at is the fact that uh, Google is is the beast that we all need to make happy, satisfy, in order to increase our rankings, increase the traffic on our sites, and that's part of increasing our search en engine optimization. Well, now social media is has taken over search and if you look here in the Google ranking factors in the United States in 2012 and it's almost identical whether you look at any other country across the board uh, when it comes to search metrics um, but if if you look here in the overall rankings factors you're gonna see that Facebook shares is number one number of overall backlinks is number two but then Facebook total Facebook comments Facebook lights Twitter tweets they're all up here in the very top and they weigh the most out of everything and you'll see here that even uh, no follow links backlinks are counting for you positively okay so now you take that into consideration and you say okay what can I do to improve all of this uh, with SEO what are the things that Google's looking for exactly well let's take another step if you look down here one of the things that they found in the tests here looking at search met metrics was although they didn't put it in the overall list of ranking factors was that there's a serious correlation between Google's own uh, social network Google plus ones and other things like that that were adding to the search and what what the power was behind Google's own search network. Of course, what is Google going to put more stock in? Are they going to put more stock in Facebook or are they going to put more stock in their own social network? Well, the the fact is that they're putting a lot of weight in both. Okay, so let's take a look at you know example search. And if I look at just one of my own posts, my blog post um, about the Loki Link Builder plugin, um, and you will see here that my blog post has a link that goes for more you know by Mike or uh, to my Google Plus link which is their social network Google Plus um, shows the number of circles I'm in and then it has more by Mike Johnson which then you can get specific results in Google uh, that are posts from me and that's based off of Google authorship so now the things we're looking at here is okay Google is highlighting Google Plus in search results they're highlighting authorship which is extremely important in search and there has to be a way to integrate that easily into your blog all the time now there's plugins out there that do just authorship but we're not just talking about authorship now if you go down here next in the search is you're gonna see a Facebook page um, that has the same information on it in the search so Facebook is there as well now you're talking about you know Facebook you're talking about Google Plus now all these ranking factors come into play with whatever search you do and you know as well you have things like YouTube videos that are ranking higher than ever before all these things are socially integrated well how do you improve that on your blog just naturally without putting much effort into it yes we know about um, sharing links and getting people to click on share buttons and stuff like that but we're talking about search engine optimization things that are happening in the background on your site the other thing that they're also looking at here is a big part of this as well is called rich snippets and rich snippets are the things Google also verifies for Google authorship and the WP social SEO booster plugin takes care of all of this all of it so I'm going to show you the plugin now, show you the kind of results you can get, and uh, just show you the power of this simple yet highly effective plugin that nobody else has put together quite like this. Okay, now the things you want to see if you look at the uh, Rich Snippets testing tool in Google is it took it from a test site here. And you see I clicked on Preview and already got. You see here I did. Uh, rich snippets review I got in my search results I got star ratings and then if I go down if I had actually linked my author profile which I didn't for this example I would have had the author profile in here as well in the rich snippets but then you got all 
the rich snippet data that I put in here minus one um, because of the test and then as you get down here you see the actual review I wrote and all the rich snippet information that I input with it now Google's reading all of this now when your content goes up against somebody else's that doesn't have this kind of content and detail in it you're gonna rank ahead of them and that's why it's important now, if you look down here and here to the actual um, data that Google pulls out of your actual search result this is what they pulled out of, of it if I'd have had my uh, as for reviewer if I'd actually had my Google Plus author set up in the test my name would be here instead of admin it just took the admin from the the, uh, the test blog I used um, but you see it has the rating stars the actual review date it has the name of the review the product for review and I could have put it in more detail here you see I didn't and it took uh, content from the, the test blog post that I actually wrote so it's got that in and then you start seeing OG 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 and this is open graph this is open graph uh, integration with Facebook that's also a part of the WP social SEO booster plugin all this is integrated the same thing with our Twitter card as well and then we get in here to all this additional detail that's added into this that only comes from having a Google ready social SEO plugin running it on your site and I'm going to show you how we do it okay now we go back here to the test site you'll see the post that was looked at you see the same test post here and I just used a snippet here uh, testing content what I did was I used the SEO plugin settings down here and I see I didn't put anything for open graph in the test but and it still pulled it still pulled all the information uh, and put it into the, the uh, rich snippet tester but here is the uh, rich snippets as you see across here I have all the rich snippets you can use which is uh, rich snippets for stuff for reviews which I used in this particular test products business card information for your business individual people you want to get your name in there recipes software if you're promoting software on your site videos is a huge one any post that you have that has videos on you can now put all your video information in here and it'll help you rank even higher for your YouTube videos or whatever wherever your videos or add even if they're self-hosted videos and then we have events as well so we go back to open graph and this stuff will auto populate if you don't put anything in there but there's a lot of fields here that um, need to be populated if you want them to uh, have you know search results for it all right now more people search for specific things this is what pops up in search as well right when people are looking for very specific things that you're putting into this open graph you're putting into your rich snippets all that is when it comes out now if we look at an example of the page here um, pulled up now you can see here part of our rich snippets allows us to have it actually in our post content if we want to okay and you see here I did a a test it called the review on the product gave a version number and you can omit any of this or you can add to it it can be as filled here as you want or it, you know if you can just want the rating that's all you need to have in there you don't even need to have the product name in there you can just have the uh, for example say you're rating this post down here and that'll give this post that rating okay and be showing shown here in your uh, post or page content okay so this is what was tested here um, just off of that now we go back and go into the actual meat of the plugin if you go in here you see SEO booster what we can do for our base settings is set up our uh, at our Facebook information here so it integrates into our Facebook uh, content put Facebook admins and the big thing here is if you have a multi author blog you're able to put in Facebook admins separately for each individual post if you want or page so you can get as specific on this as you want or you can be as general on this as you want okay now you can add everything that open graft 
SEO from Facebook allows you to add. It's all here. There is nothing left untouched. This is all the latest and greatest from the API with Facebook, and you can add it all. Then in the base settings as well, we can add our Google authorship setup. All right, and this is, like I said, this is multi-author capable, and then we can also put in our Google Plus publisher content, right? And to continue on with Google Plus, if we want to go into our action, uh, actually into our individual user settings to get that connection between the author profile and our author content, you see I don't have any of this filled out, I'm just known as admin right now. I can go in here and I can put in my Google Plus profile URL from Google Plus itself. You put your pro Google Plus profile URL in here and then you also come in and you put your uh, Twitter ID, whatever your Twitter handle is, in here as well. And that connects you to Twitter for in their new HCARD SEO uh, meta tags as well. So then you got Google Plus, you got Facebook Open Graph and you have Twitter okay so all this is added now you can go into each and every post and like I said get as specific as you want or not it's all here and then we also have a uh, widget where you can show your business card on your on your website as well your uh, H card um, which is also a big ranking factor for Google for businesses it's all here there's no stone left unturned in the SEO booster it's not complicated at all but everything is here They're from Google Plus Facebook open graph rich snippets with Google and uh, Twitter everything is here okay go ahead take the plunge right now and add what is an essential plugin that every one of your blogs should have on it for a very low price right now thanks